What's going on everybody? It's bench day today. We are heading out to Biddeford, Maine at Impact Fitness and Nutrition where my coach Greg Panora uh -oh. will be giving me handoffs for bench. I can't lift off for myself above 90% so I need to go somewhere to have someone lift off for me and who better to lift off than my coach. So um, he and his clients have made fun of me because I, I like crawl out of a hole uh, like a like a groundhog every six months to come bench with him. And yeah, so Big Daddy, Papa, Big Poppy Panora, giving the handoff today. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. 605 is the goal. Um, my meet PR is 600 and the highest I've ever hit in peak is 585 and previously before that it was only 540 525 i'm not sure i don't usually hit a, a pr during peak so we'll see how that goes So let's break down this this bench a little bit 605 pounds five pound pr normally i don't hit prs during peak i've had a couple peaks where i can't even bench 500 and then i open at 530 and it's fine and i hit a five pound pr in meat so hitting a pr in peak is monumental um but let's let's break this down a little bit so starting from the ground up take a look at my feet they are pointed inwards towards each other which means the leg drive is not going to be as efficient as it technically possibly could be if i angled my feet more parallel to each other the leg drive would be more efficient and there's a little bit of horizontal force from the leg drive that is lost in the duck footedness of my feet if you watch the actual bench my wrists are not stacked up on each other so my wrist is more caught like cocked back rather than stacked on itself um so the when applying an upwards force with my arms and uh torso it's it has to go through the lever of the wrist before it actually gets applied to the the bar so there's a, dis uh, a dispersion of force acting to cock the the hand a little bit which is losing uh n newtons of force um the descent is slow uh i knew basically when i squat before i bench my shoulders and biceps get kind of beat up a little bit so i knew that it was going to be rough so it's kind of unavoidable the way that i have addressed this is i've touched a bit lower like closer to my my hips than close closer to my chest so i aim for about somewhere on the top ab when i touch in this i i touch and i slow down a bit um but before i touch i basically i stro i slowly bring it to about halfway and then i kind of just let it come in and touch and when i'm touching i'm basically building up pressure in my back and in my arms and when greg says press i press it and yeah and then i held it at the top kind of just simulating competition uh standards there all in all not that good of a bench there's a lot to be improved on which is good because it's the best the highest weight that i've ever benched but technically not super sound which means there's a lot of room for improvement uh with the technicality of the bench so if i can add 10 percent just by fixing the, the 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 basic mechanics the the stacking of the wrist the leg drive and the descent speed if I can add 10% to the bench, 605 becomes 665, 670. You can almost add a plate with just cleaning up your mechanics a little bit. Yeah, that's about it. 